11.47 p.m. Um, my local time and we finally finished converting or pouring all of the um, wort, recycling it over the grains and um, getting it back into the large container. So now that I've done that, I'm, uh, I'm just continuing to let the last little bits eke out of there into the tall container, uh, the tall pot, while I also try to bring that container to a boil. Um, so once I bring that container to a boil, what's going to happen is uh, that, that container will stay at a boil for about um, 60 minutes. And during the course of those 60 minutes, you'll be adding in the hops. So at the beginning, you add in half of the hops, um, and then progressively you add more at the time increments that are specified in your Brooklyn Brew Kit recipe. So the, uh, the last of the grains have now um, filtered, filtered the wort through and um, we've got our, our wort coming to a boil here. So it's now boiling away, oh god, and probably too, too much. <laughs> I'm going to turn that down a little bit because uh, we don't want it to boil over. So turn it down the, from high to about six and a half. And then I've got my timer running here for the next 60 minutes. We'll have this going and ah, I've got to get in my hop additions. So you can see, here's what these hop pellets look like. And I'm going to try and estimate what half of this is. Onward with our boil for the next uh, 60 minutes. We've got some hop additions coming up, so I'm just going to follow the uh, the instructions from the Brooklyn Brew Kit, uh, Brooklyn Brew Shop Kit, for when to add those um, additional hops. I think the next one will be in 45 minutes, and then another 15 minutes after that, at the end of the brew, uh, I think that'll be the last addition. But yeah, just going to follow the schedule that's provided. And um, at, at the end of that, then we'll be moving our beer to um, chilling it and then fermenting it.